Matt Green walked through the United States from the East Coast to the West Coast in 2010, and now he's walking every single street in New York City. So Matt, I'm curious, why do you love walking so much? Uh, I don't know. I think it's because, uh, you know, you're moving so slowly, you can kind of see everything around you in detail. And beyond that, you know, it's not like being in a car where you're kind of closed off from your environment. You can also hear and smell things. You can feel the air. You can feel the weather. Um, so it's a good way to, to be immersed in a place, but still moving through it at the same time. But walking through New York City is a total other experience. Why do you do this? <laughs> I don't know why. That's a question I, I get a lot, and I don't have a good answer for it. Um, I mean, I feel like, you know, a lot of times we're kind of, feel like we're expected to have a good, clear reason for everything that we do. But I think if we're honest with ourselves, a lot of the time we don't really know why we're doing something. It kind of, you have a gut feeling. And so that's what it is for me. This just feels like the right thing to do. And so I'm kind of trusting my gut. Okay, so walking the streets of New York City, um, how far along are you? Uh, I'm about 6,400 miles done right now. And I maybe have a little over 8,000 altogether. So probably about three quarters of the way, a little more. And you quit your job to do this. Um, how do you sustain yourself? Uh, well, so I, the main thing is I don't have an apartment. I just stay at different friends' places. I watch their cats when they're out of town. I water their plants. Or sometimes I just sleep on their couch while they're there. Um, and so I don't have any rent to pay, which helps a lot. And so I make a little bit of money off of my website. Some people make donations. I do a few little kind of odd jobs here and there. Um, and then I just have money that I've saved up from my previous career as an engineer that I'm kind of slowly going through. And, 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 and how do you make sure that you walk through every street of New York? Well, I have a map where I keep track of, of every walk that I've done every day. And so I can go look at that map and I can see what's left to walk. And so when it's all filled in, I'll know that I'm done. And so far, what's your favorite street? <laughs> Uh, I, I couldn't even begin to, to answer that question um, because, you know, I, I mean, for one thing, I've just seen so many, many different blocks and it's hard to, to keep them all straight. But, you know, when you talk about something being your favorite, you're kind of thinking about it being your favorite all through time. And for me, when I discover something new, when I when I find something new, that's kind of my favorite place. And so it's always changing from day to day, you know, it, just because I really love seeing something one time doesn't mean I want to go back there over and over. So I don't know if I'd call it my favorite, really. Um, but for me, it's all about seeing something new, not about like picking something that I've already seen that I love. Okay, thank you, Matt, for joining us. And if you guys yeah. at home um, want to start walking and want to know how, uh, make sure to check out interconnection.com.